Bubbles, you can get the dog. Irina from the Second Military Working Dog Detachment getting a workout. It was part of a demonstration for 35 members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization's expert panel on working dogs. The NATO panel is in the National Capital Region for a conference. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week more with the 741st as they train for the new Army Marksmanship Standard and a Mead Middle School teacher as a finalist for Teacher of the Year. These stories and more, but first, the Army's annual Housing Tenant Satisfaction Survey is out. It's an opportunity for service members and their families to provide anonymous feedback on living in privatized military housing. The completely confidential survey is being emailed from CEL and Associates. Housing residents should check that the email on file with Corvius is their preferred address. The survey runs through April 18th. Meanwhile, for more than 80 years, the Army Emergency Relief Campaign has been the avenue through which soldiers can provide financial support to their fellow soldiers. This year's campaign started March 1st and runs through June 14th. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp addressed Fort Meade's AER campaign representatives at the March 1st kickoff at the Lanes. We want this event to help bring awareness to what AER offers because there are a whole lot of opportunities that don't get taken advantage of. And uh, we get these emails about once a quarter, and Fort Meade is always in very low numbers of who's taking advantage of it. I would like to believe that that's because we have people that don't need it, and everybody's doing gravy. Uh, but I know better because I've been there, and uh, it happens to all of us regardless of rank. In other news, if you're a regular viewer of Mead Week, you might know that we produced a series of stories on how Fort Meade's Training Support Center supports all branches of service in a challenging training environment. This week, we dig a little deeper on how the center's efforts are helping units train to the Army's new marksmanship standard. The new qualification standards were initially announced in 2020, the largest change in qualification standards since 1956. As you know, Fort Meade is not a typical Army installation, so the training environment can be challenging. The state itself, there's not a lot of places to go to uh, that, aren't, that aren't really conduct, conducive to them training to standard. So they got to either travel down to Fort Walker about three hours away or they got to go up to Fort Indian Town Gap, which is three and a half, four hours away to, to, tra to, to actually qualify to standard. And that's a lot of movement. And so what they do is they train to whatever standard they can here, get that muscle memory, which is key, and then hopefully go out there and do well. Training Exercise Coordinator Sergeant Megan Langford from the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion, 704th MI Brigade, broke down the new Army standard and how the Training Support Center helps in preparing to qualify. The qualification is mimicking expectations of people will be posting a lot more um, with standing and kneeling and it's actually the new qualification range I think is a lot more accurate to a person's ability to shoot um, rather than um, with the old one it was just prone unsupported, prone supported and kneeling. You didn't do a whole lot of movement. This one it's two versions of prone and then you're kneeling and then you're standing. So I think it's pretty interesting. TASI has been like instrumental in ensuring that our soldiers get the aid that they need, whether it's the rescue randies and the, you know, the big dummies that people can do medical training on or even the dummy weapons so that soldiers again can get that familiarization in holding a weapon when we may not be able to get the real M4s out here. The group over here at TASI has been super helpful um, and honestly they, they encouraged the high standard of training which I think Charlie Company's really taken a, uh, a pride and is trying to really make the training as uh, professional as possible and lifelike as possible. And the group over at Tassie has been bending over backwards to help us with all our trainings. For the next story in the series, Mead TV heads out to the range with the 741st for marksmanship qualification. In other news this week, Anne Arundel County Public Schools announced the five finalists for the 2024 Teacher of the Year. One of the finalists is Jesse Bragg, a math teacher at Mead Middle School. In this video, courtesy of Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Superintendent Dr. Mark Bedell made all the announcements in person. Well, sort of. Now, what's different about this situation is that we just learned that he is getting married today, and we had to FaceTime with him in his classroom. Hey, Mr. Bragg. Hey. Hey. <laughs> He's facing toward you, Dr. Bragg. All Bidell. right, so Mr. Bragg, um, I know you already are participating in something very phen phenomenal, and we wanted to just add to that to come here and surprise you and your students today that you are one of seven finalists for Teacher of the Year for 2024. The Teacher of the Year will be announced May 3rd. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great midweek.